I didn't even know what to expect on this album, though. You know, from the title, Friday on Elm Street, and I was like, oh, it ain't Freddy versus Jason, but we ain't gonna get into all that. We already know what's good with all that. But honestly, though, the theme of it all, it ain't even what I thought it'd be. You know, for me being a fan of both artists, probably fab more than Jada, I was a little disappointed, you know, in the project. Overall, if you look at for what it was supposed to be, and then they switched it up, you know, and I was just like, damn, Fab. Like, I mean, he said some clever shit. He had some great, you know, topics, him and Jada. But I just felt like it kind of was not what I was expecting from two top spitters. We know, you know, Jada crazy with the bars, Fab crazy with the bars. And I think the way it started off with, you know, F versus J intro, and it's like, okay, Fab rapping about cars and shit instead of. Like Freddie, you know what I mean? And Jada Kiss did what he did. His whole verse was about, you know, Jason and how he's a killer and this and that. He incorporated the whole theme. And I think that's what kind of turned me off, you know, from the project in the beginning. Like, damn, we starting off like this. I mean, the intro is strong. I don't fuck with that stand up record with Future. I think that's just a horrible track. Uh, the theme music joint, um, I'm, not, I'm not mad at it. I definitely like that sample. And it's just a fun record, but it still is like, come on, man, what are y'all niggas doing? Like, this is not what, you know, motherfuckers was expecting. And I'm like, this shit is retarded. And then it go into Ground Up. I thought that was cool, you know, the sample. Not really the sample, but basically the production, you know, the content. I wasn't mad at that. Uh, Soul Food is probably the best joint on there, the sample and everything like that. The lyrics, the verses, I think that was dope. Principles is another good one. Um... I like how Fab kind of spoke on certain things in that record to where it's like breaking it down for it's the point of why this happened, not for nothing. You know what I mean? Talk About is another good record featuring Tiana Taylor where they actually talked about what's going on in the world as far as, you know, politics, police corruption, and Kaepernick as well. And his overall was a good record and it caught me off guard. I didn't even know, like, damn. That's pretty deep. It reminded me of when Jada Kiss did Why. So I thought that was a tough record. All About It, Pass, um, I Pray. It's all right, you know, but it's just still, uh, it's kind of lackluster. Ice Pick featuring Styles P. That was decent. You know, I'm not mad at that. Nightmares, Ain't As Bad, Fab Joint, definitely fuck with the sample. And he spoke on some real things, you know. That's the type of Fab that... I like when he introspective, but I just still feel like it didn't fit the project. And of course, the last track, Stand Up Remix, and it's like, fuck out of here with that. Future, Yo Gotti, you know what I mean? And Jeezy, it's like, come on, bro. Like, that's definitely a Southern record. And I'm just not here for it. But overall, yeah, it's a little disappointing, you know, because I feel like when they first announced it, and if you've been watching the interviews they've been on, they've been like, oh, no, we didn't announce it then, or we announced it then. It's been a minute, bro, and it was just supposed to be like a mixtape. I don't even think it's supposed to be an album. And they couldn't really get certain shit cleared and everything like that as far as how movie franchises work with the whole Freddy vs. Jason theme, and they wasn't having it. So it just felt like they had to go back in and definitely move some shit around. And I was definitely mad that the song Rapture wasn't even on there. Like, they had that song that kind of kicked it off for me. Then they did the freestyles, and all that shit was cool as well. But I just feel like it was a lackluster project. You know, it wasn't nothing too special. And as far as the artists that I would have loved to see on this, I think I'll just tweet about it or something like that. But, yeah, man, it's cool, man. I give it a a 6.5 out of 10 at best, you know what I mean? I just feel like even if they was in a studio together... It still didn't come across as some dope to where we was anticipating it, you know. And they say a lot of projects came out this year as far as collab projects. True, but at the same time, yeah, this just wasn't it. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about it. That's just my take on it. It was cool. I listened to certain songs, but other than that, I'm gone.